Hello boys and girls, Mrs. Sadowski back here with you. And today we're gonna to be taking care of two of our benchmark lessons all in one, because we're going to be using Kylie and the Serpent for our reading lesson today, but we're also going to be using it for our spelling. And our spelling this week is focusing on suffixes that mean in what manner or how something is done. We're gonna look at words with the L-Y ending, the I-L-Y ending, the ways ending and the Y's ending. So words like, playfully, creatively, jokingly, otherwise, sideways, things like that today, where the suffix is just this little word chunk that just adds a slightly different meaning to the original word. So here we go, paying attention not only to the storyline, but also trying to find words with these suffixes. Kylie and the serpent. Many moons ago, a ferocious serpent lived in a mountain above a Chinese village. One day, to the villagers' dismay, the giant snake came down from its cave and demanded half of their rice. The terrified people quickly complied. That winter, they had barely enough to eat. The serpent returned the following year. The villagers pleaded with the serpent not to take their rice, but the snake just hissed disdainfully. The people handed over half the rice. This went on every year for nine years until a girl named Kylie said, enough, I will put an end to this. Her parents tried to dissuade her, but Kylie was determined. The next day, she set out with a hound, a sword, and a bag of sweetened rice balls. As she neared the serpent's lair, she laid the rice ball sideways along the path. Then she and the hound hid. Drawn by the scent, the serpent soon slithered forth. It devoured one rice ball and then another. The hound dashed out and ran wildly around the snake in a circle. The serpent tried to seize the hound, but when it went clockwise, the hound went counterclockwise and vice versa, until the serpent was so dizzy that it toppled over. Kylie speedily jumped forward. With a mighty swing of her sword, she chopped off the serpent's head. The villagers hailed her as a hero, and everyone lived peacefully from then on. So, short little story. Go, female girl warrior. Let's leave it to this little girl to save her Chinese village from this big old snake. So here we go. Looking for those words that have the suffix like these. Okay. So in this first paragraph, maybe you heard the word quickly. Maybe you heard the word barely. Both of those quickly and barely would go into this category. Quickly meaning she did it in a quick way. Barely meaning things were very bare. They didn't have very much of it. As I continue looking through, I think we have, ooh, disdainfully. That's a big word. Disdainfully is like, whatever, you know. Um, so I'll write that down, disdainfully. Okay. When on every year, a girl said enough, we'll put an end to this. Her parents tried to dissuade her, but she was determined. Didn't see anything there. The next day she set out with a hound, a sword, bag, Let's see, we keep going. Ooh, I see sideways. So sideways. And as I go through, I see the word wildly. Um, let's see, I see the word clockwise. And I see counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Oh, I'm writing on the words, sorry there. Um, dizzy, toppled over. Oh, she speedily, so speedily jumped forward with a mighty swing of her sword. She chopped off the serpent's head. Elder. Oh, and they lived peacefully. So I could add peacefully up there to that category. So here we have our Lee words. I'll do a little bubble around them. Maybe that'll help the categories. 
stick. Whoops, I almost pulled the wrong thing there. Okay, so I've got my little bubbles. So hopefully you're seeing that the suffix added onto these words speedily means to do it in a speedy way, right? Sideways means we're moving in a way where we're going from side to side or turning to our side. Clockwise, spinning like a clock. Counterclockwise, spinning the opposite direction of clock. Okay, so there we have it with our spelling lesson. But I told you that we were also going to be using this for purposes of our reading skills. You see, Kylie and the Serpent is another folktale, and it's a nice short one. A lot of the fables and folktales will have a hero in them. In this case, if we look for our hero, she's right here. Her name is Kylie, right? She is our hero. She's the one who comes in and she saves the day. And something that we know is very special about her is that she was determined. Okay. Her parents tried to dissuade her. It means they tried to convince her not to do this, but she was like, no, I need to do this. It's me. I'm on it. Okay. That is something that makes a hero. The hero is somebody who doesn't give up. There's somebody who goes after something and they do it. And oftentimes it's a dangerous situation. Not always, but most of the time when we think of a hero, we're thinking of that. Now, as we go through, the hero typically goes on a journey. So if we look, she does go out on a journey, right? We can see right here that she set out to go on this journey. She took some things with her, right? But she's going out and she's going to the serpent's lair. Okay, that is where she is headed. Um, and it's up on the mountain and away she goes. Now, also, as we're looking at this, she has a goal. And her goal, obviously, is to put a stop to this. So I'm going to put her goal right here. She said, enough. I will put an end to this, right? She's going to stop that serpent from taking over the people's food. And what obstacles? How does she do this? What does she, you know, go through? Well, she had to first get the thing out, right? And then she had to chop off its head. So if we look at this, she uses her things that she brought with her. She puts the rice balls sideways, right? Along the path. Then she has the hound dashing wildly around the snake in a circle. And it's going clockwise and counterclockwise to make it dizzy. Then she does a mighty swing of her sword and chops off the serpent's head. Okay, so here we have our hero. We know what it is she set out to do, right? She's got to go up the mountain and to the lair of this horrible, horrible giant snake. And she wants to kill that snake so her people can have their food. And then, you know, it tells how she goes about overcoming the obstacles, right? The things that she had to do in order to kill the snake. She couldn't just go up there and say, hey, snake, hold still. Let me chop off your head. That didn't work. She had to first lure the snake out with some food get the dog to help her, you know, distract that snake, get it all dizzy and disoriented. So it's like, ah, and then she was able to use her sword. Your task today is going to be, and one of your questions will be about this story, but your job is going to be to go back to the valiant little tailor. And online, your assignment is going to look like this. It'll remind you that folk folklores or folk tales are short stories that include a lesson and sometimes involve a character on a quest. A quest is a journey where the character must show strength and courage to overcome obstacles. Complete the chart with examples of each genre feature. I personally don't see the valiant little tailor as a hero, but we're gonna have our little hero, okay? So the valiant little tailor is our hero what is it that our character does that shows strength and courage? So in this first box, we have to think, what did he do to show, notice in the directions, strength and courage? What makes him a hero? 
So in the type here, you're going to be typing the valiant little tailor. Notice I did not capitalize Valiant Little Taylor on this one because I'm not doing the title of the story. I'm doing the character and this isn't his name. It's just the description of him. So the Valiant Little Taylor, what did he do to show strength? According to him, what did he do? Okay, well, he killed seven flies all at once. Ooh, that makes him mighty, right? And then you can think, was there anything else that he did to help show courage? I gave you one thing. I'd like to see, and Mr. Ford and Mrs. Jansen would also like to see, you take some more time, put some more detail in here. What else did he do to show strength and courage while going on his quest? Now the quest, his journey. What was his journey to? Where did he go? Your job in here is to type, where did he go? Okay, so think the where. Okay, the goal. The goal is the purpose. This is the why. So I'm going to write purpose. The why. Why was he going where it was that he was going? You're going to type that in here. And then the obstacles to overcome. There are a couple of obstacles. Obstacles are the challenges, right? So we know he faced challenges. I'm going to put this in parentheses. I'm going to put this in parentheses, put that in parentheses. And I'm going to put over here the whole strength. Or in parentheses, OK? So when you're filling out your chart in the computer, the chart is not going to have my purple writing on it. Okay, so that's why we do these videos. We want you to see the lesson and then you take what you've gotten from the lesson and apply it into your work. So when you get down here, there's more than one obstacle, more than one challenge he faces. Make sure you put them in here. Okay, don't just put one. Then down at the bottom. How does the Valiant Taylor overcome the giant's challenges? Notice, challenges, there's more than one. So you need to decide, how did he overcome the giant's challenges? What did he do? And you move that circle over your letter choice. Then there's one question about Kylie defeating the serpent. That was the story that I used to model, okay? And I used it for spelling as well. So how did she defeat? can't talk. How did she defeat the serpent? What was it that she did? You'll take the other little circle, move it over your letter choice. Okay, a few of you are forgetting to answer these multiple choice questions. You just got to drag those little circles, put them where you want. Okay, if you have a hard time dragging the circles, then type a little note in the box what your answers are. Alrighty, so there you have it. Good luck, boys and girls. Make your teachers proud.